Back to Venezuela, the interim president, Juan Guaido, came back into the country. He was met, met by crowds of chanting supporters. Several European diplomats, including from France, Germany, and Spain, were also at the airport to ensure his safety upon his arrival. Joining me now is former U.S. ambassador to Venezuela, Patrick Duddy. Ambassador, what do you make of today's events? It feels like things are going to start ratcheting up in, uh, in Venezuela. Your take. Well, it's certainly a very tense time, uh, but I think that uh, President Guaido's return is important for two reasons. On the one hand, it demonstrates, I think, very persuasively that he cannot be intimidated, um, and it also underscores um, the support uh, Mr. Guaido has around the country. There were something like 47 different de demonstrations in cities all over Venezuela, not just in the capital. What All in support of Mr. Guaido. All, yes, sir, I, I hear you. What happens next? What will Maduro do now? The, I sense that he is becoming increasingly desperate. Um, he's desperate to keep as much of the, the humanitarian assistance out as possible. And I think that um, we can count in on him and his um, supporters in the military to attempt to intimidate um, Mr. Guaido and his supporters. I don't think it will work. We've already seen something like 600 defections, and the international pressure on the Maduro regime is increasing, I think, in a very significant way. You know, Ambassador, we've been covering the Venezuela story on this show for the last three years. We were first to break to the world the stories of people eating out of garbage bags. That's how destitute the situation is there. 54 nations now support Guaido. A number of them have denounced Nicolas Maduro as a dictator. Uh, Nancy Pelosi has condemned him. Other Democrats as well. But, sir, your take, Ambassador, your take on Alexander Cortez refusing to denounce Maduro as a dictator, refusing to denounce him at all. She only went as far to say is that Venezuela is a, quote, complex issue. Your take on that. What's so complex about it? Well, I don't actually think the, um, the issue is nearly as complex as um, uh, that comment would suggest. Essentially, Venezuela is a failed country being held together by force with the support of Russia, China, and Cuba. Um, the reason you were able to film um, young Venezuelans uh, picking through the garbage for food is because the, the socioeconomic system imposed by Hugo Chavez and sustained by Nicolas Maduro has effectively collapsed. And that's why three million Venezuelans have abandoned the country. Think about it. This is 10 percent of the population. Yeah. Um, and predictions are that if things don't change, and I'm, I'm hopeful that they will, but that if things don't change, as many as two million more Venezuelans will leave this year. Wow, two million more. Ambassador, that would be striking if that happens. Ambassador Duddy, thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it.